Recently I had an opportunity to drive a brand new Ford Mondeo with full LED headlamps in it and what got me curious was the pattern on the headlight lens, on the low beam lens which was, you know, like this orange peel effect kind of thing and it got me thinking, well I saw that design somewhere earlier and where did I see it? Right here, it was on the original projectors from my headlamps that I modify in these projects. This headlamp unit here is actually the original one from, from my car. It's now out of the car since the Xenon ones are in. So here you can see that this lens, apart from being slightly dirty, has this kind of orange peel effect and there's this step on the you know front surface here that makes it kind of birefractive. So yeah, it got me thinking, what's actually the the difference between this kind of lens and like a normal, you know, smooth, clear lens that's installed in most of the Chinese copies of headlamp projectors, just like it's here? And why, why did, in this case, uh, automotive lighting make this extra effort to, to supply this kind of rough surface, orange peel effect, glass with the step? So what I'm going to do now is uh, swap the lens, just the lens inside here, inside this one, with this one. Let's proceed to swapping the only the lens. This will involve me uh, disassembling this unit uh, by you know drilling out these two, uh, these four rivets here, one, two, three, and four. These four rivets. Then I'll uh, have it disassembled. What I need to do next is to bend these uh, tabs around here and then extract the, the lens from here and do the same thing to this one but before I can start I need to remove this from, from the whole housing. Okay, so I managed to disassemble this uh, projector module. Of course, I disassembled also the this uh, original um, AL module to obtain this genuine lens. It's definitely interesting to look through. Here's the Chinese replica which is just, you know, perfectly glossy with no features on it. Other than that, they are pretty much the same. Okay, now let's reassemble the module. I 
did a few markings on the bolt heads here just to know how to torque it down so now it's reassembled now let me quickly wipe the lens once again because I touched it this cloth is still damp with alcohol So let's have a look at the results of swapping the, the front lens. So as you can see in the picture, just above this light cutoff line, there is an area that is way brighter compared to the light output of the clear lens. I think this is done via this second part here at the top of this lens that protrudes a bit. I don't know if this is visible, but You can see sort of like a step here. So it's like a, you know, this part, this this top part, this lens is like a different kind of lens with different parameters, different focal length and so on. So that's the interesting part of the, the swap because of course you want entire darkness just above the this light cutoff line but this allows you to see road signs which are really in this dark area but you still want to see them and they reflect light so a tiny bit of light just increases the comfort of seeing the road signs during the night and there is another aspect that it sort of dazzles other drivers it makes you visible this tad better the second part is that the cutoff line is not that razor sharp and uh, I think this is done with this orange peel uh, glass in front that disperses the light and makes this line like unfocused let's say so I've read that this is done to prevent your eyesight from from getting tired because you know the this cutoff line is strictly I would say it's fixed to the body of your car and you know, when your car bounces, this cutoff line just goes up and down. Your your neck, your head filters out all those road bumps, and your eyesight is focused on on the road on on some point. But then the light just alternates between being dark and and bright, and this uh, slight delusion of this um, cutoff line. Here in the next one.